Good morning, Rogers Park. It's the first day of school. Woohoo! We're super excited to have you here today, and we hope that you have an awesome day. I've got a couple of messages from Miss Battaglia and Miss Perez, and I'll be back with you in a second. Welcome back, Rogers Park. I'm Mrs. Battaglia. I'm the sixth grade assistant principal. I'm located on the second floor. We're excited to be back. We want to wish you an exciting and successful school year. We know that this year presents many challenges, but we want you to know that we're here for you. Reach out to us if you need any help. Um, before you start on Tuesday, I want you to take a moment and reflect from last year. Think about the changes that you want to make. What, what do you want to do differently? Um, before you know it, we'll all be together soon. Um, have a great year and reach out if you need anything. Dear Rogers Park, I am excited for the 2020-2021 school year. My name is Ms. Perez and I am the assistant principal for 7th and 8th grade. I know that the past couple of months have been difficult, but I am certain that the entire Rogers Park community is here to support you and together we will get through this. I am so excited to see you all grow academically, socially, and emotionally. And I am positive that with hard work, dedication, and a whole lot of fun, you can accomplish anything. Now let's get to work. Thanks, Ms. Pataglia and Ms. Perez. Please join me in saying the Pledge of Allegiance with our guest host, Rachel. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thanks, Rachel. If any of you are interested in being a co-host, please reach out to your school counselor and let them know you'd like to participate. We'd love to have you. Today, everybody, is Tuesday, September 8th, and it's an A week. You should be attending all of the classes on the screen right now, and you can learn that by seeing in PowerSchool which classes you're assigned to. Remember that an A week and B week correspond to your special area classes that are PE and either chorus, band, orchestra, modern music, or a studio art. So if, for instance, you're a sixth grader and 66A says PE and 66B says chorus, this week you go to PE. Next week you go to chorus. We'll keep reminding you and you'll get the hang of it before you know it. But everybody should be looking at their power school to know which classes to attend. Each day, I need you to do three things. One, check your Danbury email. You're gonna get important information from your teachers, from me, Ms. Perez and Ms. Battaglia, from maybe even other classmates if you're working on a project together, and that's where you're gonna find them. Two, visit all the Google Classrooms for your Tuesday classes today, but for whatever class you're assigned each day. Three, actively engage in class. I know it's hard to get back into the swing of it, but your teachers have worked really hard to make it engaging lessons and to work with you to have fun in school while you learn. But we need you to engage. So please log in and participate. I wanna bring your attention to the distance learning schedule that was shared with you either in a mailer to your home or in an email last week if you're a newer student. There was some time on that schedule that was dedicated to lunch, which I think you all know what that is. And I hope that you take time to eat lunch Maybe go outside, run around for a little bit. And then I want to bring your attention to 115 to 225. Now that's a time it says office hours are independent distance learning. Office hours mean your teacher is going to be available for you to drop in in a Google Meet and ask a question, get some clarification, or get a little bit of help. They're going to share with you the schedule that they've created to help you. The really important part here is the independent distance learning. I need for you to understand that 8 to 1225 is not the only time you'll be working and learning. We expect that after you engage synchronously at the same time with your teachers and other students that you're doing work later that day. So you might be working on a project, you could be doing independent reading, maybe some IXL work, anything. It's going to be something that's more self-paced, but we expect that you'll be working after 1225. School doesn't end at 1225. We expect that you'll be working in the afternoon. I think I've made it clear. Anyway, if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. If you still need a Chromebook, go to the Rogers Park website and fill out a request. You have to fill out the request to get the Chromebook. And then you'll have to come to school and pick it up. But someone will be in touch with you to let you know when you can do that. Can't wait to see you guys in person. Stay safe and welcome back.